It is show day over in Austin, Texas. I'm packing up right now, about to leave out. Uh, I washed my gear last night, and uh, it's kind of just everywhere at the moment. And also my cat is just walking all over my stuff. Hello, Pebs. Do you want your cat hair all over my shit? Is that what this is? But I gotta hurry up. I also have to uh, change everything from this dirty bag to my new bag. My little brother uh, got me a new backpack. He saw how dirty it was in my last video, so he got me a new bag, so thanks bro. And uh, yeah, packed up all my merch. I fit all the t-shirts that were in this, that were in this bag, and put it in this smaller bag, cause I'm not coming back here tomorrow, or tonight. Uh, staying in Austin, Texas tonight, and I'm flying uh, at 6 a.m. tomorrow from Austin to Atlanta, so not come back here and I don't like to check in my bags at the airport I like to just bring carry on so that's filled with a bunch of merch and uh, so we'll see how well I do today and tomorrow either way I'm gonna go ahead and turn this video off and I will see you guys on the road Okay, now we can begin the road trip. Alrighty guys, so we made it. Austin, Texas, Russell Circus, myself versus Brian Cage tonight. And uh, this will probably be one of the last times I check in with you. So wish me luck, and uh, let's go get that. Let's go get that fourth title, man. Let's do this. Fuck love, I won't comment. In fact, interviews want to know hurt you with so and so. Let the whole world know, but I cannot comment on that. Cause I got the biggest of plans. See what I do when I'm given a chance. Told RCA, give me the biggest advance. I do this for.
So we're back at the airport. Uh, it's 6.30 a.m. I feel like death. <laughs> I know I have a smile on my face, but I feel horrible. Yeah, I think I wrestled here like five years ago. Not at this specific company, but I haven't been to Atlanta to wrestling in five years. So looking forward to uh, coming back and showing these people who the hell Sammy Guevara is. If they forgot, I'm gonna make them remember. So flights at 7.05, 6.30 and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in Atlanta. So we landed here in Atlanta now, and uh, look who I'm with here. Bing. Mr. 450. It's my tag team partner in Mexico. Ah, yeah. We're undefeated. No, we're not. <laughs> we're, we're like 0 and 1. We're reverse undefeated. Yeah. <laughs> reverse Undertaker. You know, whatever. Oh, 1 and 0. 0 and 1. And uh, now we're waiting for one more guy. I'd show Pentagon, but he ain't wearing his mask, so. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, there we go. There you go. <laughs> That's all you get. <laughs> yeah. And we're just waiting for one more, and then we're going to go find a ride, and. Uh, Hopefully go to the hotel. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but the show's about to start and we're doing something by the ring. As you see, the show started, but that's right, welcome to the vlog. So, I'm in the ring right now. I don't know what we're doing. Holy shit, Pentagon. I, this is a YouTube show. This is my YouTube show. Oh man, look at that. You came a long way since the first YouTube show is all. That's we're right. You That's right. right. Game, the the rest of the the how much has your, how much so has your career changed yeah. since Brian Cage so has been introducing you? Oh man, it's man. Yeah. it is fucking huge. You're welcome. Look at his arm. That huge. You're welcome. Jesus. Anyways, I'm gonna put this away now. I'm as a fact. Interviews want to know. Hurt you with so and so. Let the whole world know. But I cannot comment on that. Cause I got the biggest of plans See what I do when I'm giving a chance Told RCA give me the biggest advance I do this Oh shit Thank you man so um, we had to take a lift over to the hotel because uh, I did a podcast or I did like an interview with this guy and um, he told me he would take me back to the hotel and I didn't really know exactly which hotel it was so he dropped me off at the wrong hotel and then uh, so I had to had to Uber it or lift it back over here. And now we're at the we're now we're at the real one, I hope. And now let's go to sleep. Moment of truth right now, if I'm at the right hotel. Here we go. Yes! We made it! Woo! It is 11.24 right now. And uh, I'm about to go to sleep. I'm actually about to shower and then go to sleep. I'm actually still wearing my fucking gear. I just realized that. That's pretty horrible. Um, yeah, I was just trying to sell merch and I was wearing my gear and then I got cold so I put on my pants and completely forgot I was wearing my gear until now. But uh, yeah, I'll tell you about how everything went this weekend and my thoughts behind yesterday's show and this show and all that tomorrow. Um, probably when I get back to Houston or at the airport or something because I have to be up in four no five hours I have to be up in four in the morning I need I still need a shower and uh, so I'm gonna go do that now and I will see you guys in the morning uh, 
So we are back in my apartment now. Finally back here in Houston. And boy, do I have a couple stories to tell you guys. So story number one would have to be about what I told you earlier in this video. That I don't like to check in my bags at the airport because I have this whole thing where I think they're going to lose my, my merch bag or they're going to lose my gear. So I show up to the show with no merch or no gear and I have to borrow someone's gear. And I know what you're thinking. Sam, that's not going to happen. Wrong. That did happen. Luckily not to me, but it happened to another guy, Mr. Dave Christ. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he ever found his bag or whatever happened to it, but he didn't have his gear at the show. And so he had to borrow someone else's gear. But he had to borrow Christy Jane's gear. <laughs> so I'm about to put up a picture of him. He looked ridiculous. I think it's awesome that he ended up just wearing it out there, giving no fucks. But, uh, yeah, so this is why I don't check in my, uh, my bags at the airport. Hey, who's that handsome guy? Now on to Saturday, on the Wrestle Circus going one-on-one -on -one with Brian Cage for the Ringmaster Championship. Simply, him and I tore the house down, me and him busted out maneuvers back and forth. Him and I killed it. It was uh, back and forth action, him throwing me around, me picking him up, slamming him around. And then finally I had him right where I wanted him. I'm about to hit the 630 and out comes Shane Strickland. He cashes in his money in the bank type deal that he won earlier in the night. And uh, he wins the Ringmaster Championship, which means I don't win the championship. And then to Sunday, where I woke up super... Actually, I didn't even go to sleep Sunday uh, or Saturday after Wrestle Circus. I chilled with some people, then went straight to the airport and fell asleep on the plane. So Sunday, very little sleep. But uh, I feel like everything went well. I was wrestling for Mucha Lucha Atlanta. Flew out there. I felt like we killed it. Um, it was a tournament. Y your boy didn't win the tournament. But still got paid. Then after a plane ride back to Austin and driving from Austin back to Houston, I'm back home. Thank you to everybody this weekend, man. I, I came out with these new t-shirts. Um, and by the end of the weekend, I was left with three or two of them, man. Uh, here, I'll show them to you real quick. Bam! Says the best ever, Sammy Guevara. It's got a picture of me. It says Mr. Money's Work. Came out with those on Saturday, and by the end of Sunday, I was left with three or two. Right now, I'm left with one medium. So, and I think, yes, I'm left with like two mediums and one small. So, if you're any of those sizes, check the store. They'll probably be up there. But yeah, right now, I'm going to go to the gym. Then I'm going to come back, edit this video you're watching, and then uh, just chill. I'm pretty banged up. <laughs> But uh, just thank you guys for watching. If you guys can do me one favor, if you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. And then if you are subscribed, if you can just share this video, uh, word of mouth is everything. Help spread the word of Sammy G. Let's help get me to 6,000 subscribers. And uh, until the next one, guys, thank you for spending a little bit of your time watching a little bit of my life.